Hey, welcome back. It's Pat from PJM Scheduling Services. So let's figure out how to filter for out of sequence activities in your P6 schedule. Um, I, I've, uh, I've tried to find a filter in the past that would work and I've always had problems with, you know, people say, I've seen other videos where they say use the remaining early start where it's not equal to the data date and that works in some cases, but um, it, it doesn't work perfectly. So I've created this schedule and I'll show you, we have uh, two instances of out of sequence progress. So one of them is a completed activity where the predecessor is uh, not complete. So that's, that activity is done, but the predecessor is uh, incomplete. So that's one instance. I have a second instance down here where the activity is in progress but its predecessor is, um, is not started, but the relationship is finished to start. So that's the second instance of out-of-sequence progress. And then what I wanted to show you is um, I, I have another activity that's just in progress. Um, so all of these activities are on a five-day work week. And one, one of the solutions that people co ha have come up with is create a filter where in all so I have this filter here named out of sequence and we say let's create a filter where the remaining early start is not equal uh, is not equal to the data date and where the activity uh, status equals in progress um, so let's go ahead let's do that Let's filter for that, and here's what happens. Number one, we had the two instances of out-of-sequence progress that we had were the completed activity, which you can see here, that doesn't show up because we're only filtering for in-progress activities. The other thing that happens is this in-progress activity also shows up, but this isn't out-of-sequence. You can see here, this is in-progress, but the predecessor is completed. The reason that this comes up is because my data date happens to fall on a weekend. So I'm using April 30th, which is a Saturday, as my data date. And so because of that, the remaining early start gets pushed out beyond the weekend to the first workday. So if you're looking for the out of sequence activities in your schedule and you're going by this method, you, um, you, you, might get, you might not get all the items that are out of sequence um, because your data date falls on a weekend or because you're not filtering for the completed activities. So here's, like, here's my way of working around that. And I, you're gonna get, it's not gonna be perfect, but you're probably gonna get most, if not all, of the items that are out of sequence in your schedule, especially if you're dealing with like a, a really large schedule with multiple calendars and stuff like that. So here's the, here's the filter that I would use to get all out of sequence items. I would, um, we have our first filter here, which is remaining early start and um, is not equal to the data date and then the activity status equals in progress. So that's great for the in progress items. Let's go ahead and what I do is I copy this section. I'm gonna make two sections here. One of them for the completed activities and one of them for in-progress activities. So I'll copy this entire um, filter section and it creates basically like a sub a subheading here. I'm gonna delete these two guys and then I'm gonna copy this one more time and paste it. And I'm gonna outdent it. So here's what we have. We have like one, set of filters here. So we want all of the following. Uh, the remaining early start is not equal to the data date and the activity status is equal to in progress. So that's one filter that's gonna be done. The second filter is I want just the early start. Um, so I just, the early start is not equal to the data date and the activity status is equal to completed. And then this parameter up here, instead of all of the following, I want to switch it to any. So it's either going to look up this, um, you know, uh, this filter here, or the, you know, for the in-progress items, 
or it's going to look up the uh, this one for the completed items. So that'll capture both sides, but let's apply that and you'll notice, all right, so that gives us the completed activity that's out of sequence, that gets us the in progress activity that is, um, that's out of sequence, but then it's also including this activity down here because the data date um, is falling on a weekend. So my suggestion would be um, to move the data date to the middle of the week. So like, uh, you know, temp we're just gonna move the data date temporarily just to show us the out of sequence items. Um, so let's move it to say May 4th and let's also move, uh, make sure that our time, the actual time of the data date equals the start time of my calendar, which is 8 a.m. here. You can see that here. So I'm going to say that is 8 a.m. and I'm going to reschedule. Now I'll move, move the data date forward. And then if I rerun my filter, that gets rid of the, uh, the item that shouldn't have been filtered for, for the out of sequence. So now that's the true activities that are in my schedule that are out of sequence. So what I would do in this case is correct those items. And then once I've corrected all my out of sequence activities, I would simply just move the data date back to my April 30th date or whatever the true data date is. And, uh, and then all your, all your items are addressed. So um, hope that gives you a, um, yeah, an idea of how to filter and really capture all the activities that are in your schedule. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below or feel free to reach out. All right, take care.